would never say me arreglo el pelar hueveses is. That makes no damn sense. What are you even talking about? We Hola buenos, me llamo Daji Imar. If you're new here, boo. We do solo travel, but we also be learning languages, and today we do in Spanish, okay? Yes, we, as in, I'm not fluent in this language yet, okay? We learn in this language together. This is a Spanglish-friendly channel, boo. Get into it. If you're trying to learn the Los uh, Dias de la Semana, let's go. Let's go. Okay, here we got the Los Dias de la Semana in Espanol. So for Monday, we got El Lunes, Tuesday, El Martes, Wednesday, El Miércoles, Thursday, El Lueves, Friday, El Viernes, Saturday, El Salvador, Sunday, El Domingo. Okay, okay, here we got the Los Días de la Semana en Español. So for Monday, we got El Lunes, Tuesday, El Martes, Wednesday, El Miércoles, Thursday, El Lueves, Friday, El Viernes, Saturday, El Salvador, Sunday, El Domingo. Okay. Now that we got the days of the week, it's not enough to just read this in a week. Baby, you gotta memorize these. I'm gonna tell you two separate ways to memorize the day of the week that's gonna be super easy for you. And it's just gonna make it click like this. Like, I, when, I, when I thought of these two things, I was like, damn, now I know the days of the week just like that. Retained it overnight, boo. Let's get into it. One of the best ways to learn about, you know, how to memorize the days of the week in Spanish is the freaking planets. Yes, boo, the very own solar system. Each of these, well, majority of these freaking words match one of the planets, okay? Let's start with numero uno, el lunes. So this is, is an exact, but lunes in Espanol is moon. What do you think of, what do you think of lunes? Moon, lunar, moon, okay? Also, Monday in English starts with an M, so you can memorize that. So if you can memorize Monday is moon, moon, lunes, boom, you got, you memorize Monday. Look at you, look at you, come on now. Mark this, what, what does this look like? Come on, quit playing. Mars, Mars, boo. Look at that. You you got you got two months. You got two days now. Look at you. You got two days now. Miraculous. What's another M? Come on now, boo. Mercury. It's to her. Miraculous. Mercury. You got it. Next. El Weathers. What start with a J? Ah, Jupiter. Ah, Jupiter, boo. Quit playing. I just think Jupiter is a sexy ass word. It's spelled beautifully. I love a J. J is like one of the most sexiest freaking letters in the alphabet. Okay, let's move on. El Viernes. El Viernes. What starts with that? What start with a B? What start with a B? What start with a B? Venus. Oh shit. Or you know we got Venus Williams. Ah! Okay, next we got El Salvador. Oh my gosh, this needs an accent mark because you put emphasis on it. Accent mark. Salvador, what we got, boo? Saturn, quit playing. Quit playing with Saturn. Don't do Saturn. Don't do my girl like that. Or, you know, you maybe you got a Saturn. I don't know. Okay? And then, unfortunately, unfortunately, my boo, my boo down here, El Domingo, I'm sorry, Sunday. You ain't got it like that. But, baby, we, we can match it up. So, you see, we got all the planets. We, we in the theme of the world, the solar system. You know what, what also happens or could happen? You know, extinction. So we can say like doomsday for Domingo, okay? It's very negative, but but you know, stay with me. So for Domingo, you could think of doomsday like Sunday is the last day of the week. Doomsday the last day on earth. You feeling me? It's, we're still in the thing with the planets and the earth and all that. So doomsday, come on now, that's clever. That is so clever of me. Okay. So bring it back to the top. If you want to memorize El Lunes, we got moon. El Martes, we got Mars. El Miércoles, we got Mercury. El Jueves, we got Jupiter. El Viernes, we got Venus. El Sábado, we got Saturn. And El Domingo, we got Doomsday, baby. Quit playing, okay? Quit playing. Maybe you don't really know the planets, you know? The education system here in America is a little iffy. So maybe this might not even make sense to you. Cause it's like, girl, I don't even know the planets. So you think I'm gonna learn how to, you know, match them up with a never language? I don't even know what you doing. Okay, I got you. I got you. Here go our Ejemplo numero dos, okay? It is to kind of go with the same pattern. Look for words that kind of match it, but what comes to mind when you look at this words for your own personal Like, What does it, how does it relate to you? For me, when I think of El Lunes, I think of Looney Tunes. I don't know why, but it's enough letters in Lunes that match with Looney Tunes that I'm just like, this kind of match. Like, is y'all seeing the vibe that I'm going with? Looney Tunes, El Lunes. I don't know why, I just think of that when I see that word. And Martes, I think of a Mart. Kmart, Walmart, just a Mart. So that's what I think of when I think of Mart. 
or when I think of El Martes. Next, Miracles. So depending on the demographic, um, there's a grocery store or convenience store called Myers. And then you can also say, say something like mirror. Now, the enunciation of these two, of these words don't match, but the, it's like the letters kind of like remind you of this word in Spanish. So it's not, it doesn't have to be a direct like translation versus, you know, in sounds. But if you can see this word and then you can think of miracles, that is helpful. Next, what is this, for example. So let me write this down. Usually like in work culture or something, you'll hear people joke around like it's Friday Eve, which is Thursday, which in Espanol is El Huelves. So when you think of Friday Eve, you can say El Huelves because there's Eve in Thursday and Thursday is Friday Eve. Is y'all, is y'all, is y'all, is y'all catching? Is y'all catching what I'm putting down? Come on now, think about that. Friday Eve is Thursday. Thursday in Espanol is Huelves. Eve has Friday Eve in it, in El Huelves, okay? Okay, and Viernos. I don't know why this is funny to me when I think of this, I think of veneers. I don't know how to spell veneers. See, that's what I get for talking shit. I don't even know how to spell it. Veneers. Okay, you know the big chunky ass teeth that everybody and their mama got as soon as they get their coin up. Okay, we got veneers. Okay, El Sabado. This one, I just say same in English. In English, so like I said, if you just know the days of the week and then you're kind of using your memory to remember which one equals what, Sabado, Saturday in English. So it's the same letter. So that's how I memorize that. So if I'm looking at this, say I have flashcards and this is all that's on one side of the flashcards and I'm trying to match it up. If I say same in English, oh, Sabado, Saturday, English. Next, we got El Domingo. One, this can kind of say the same because like I said, this isn't a, a planner or anything. So if you can think of doomsday, the final day, the last day, the end of it all, that's Sunday because Sunday's the last day of the week. Your last day to party and you know, be out all day not having no responsibilities, your last day to get your laundry done, the last day to prep your meal for the week, the last day, doomsday, final day. And that's how you memorize that book, duh. All right, now you got the days of the week, you know, two ways to memorize the days of the week. How am I gonna memorize this now? Like, what, what do I go from here? So one of the best ways to do this is when you are writing your daily planner, you know, what you got going on for the week, instead of putting down Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, maybe just get a fresh notebook and put all of the days of the week in Spanish. So on El Lunes, you fold laundry. El Martes, you meal prep. El Miércoles, you, I don't know, check your air pressure on your car. I don't know. But something that you frequent on these days of the week, put it in Spanish instead of in English. And then as you get to, you know, more comfortable with it, boo, you can go ahead and make the full sentence in uh, Spanish. So now we gotta go over some little housekeeping tips. Here are a few things to know about the days of the week, boo. Numero uno is you never pluralize, pluralize the days. You would never, you would never say me arreglo el pelo es is. That makes no damn sense. What are you even talking about? We don't pluralize these days, but we don't do that. So what you would say is me arreglo el pelo dos huevos. Oops. Okay, so you're kind of saying the Thursday, the Friday, the this, that, and third. So you don't pluralize it. The only ones we do pluralize though are. El sábado and domingo. So you can say sábados. That is grammatically correct. You can put an S at the end of the weekends. That's it. The rest of the five days a week, you never pluralize them shits. Okay? You're wrong if you do. Okay? You don't know what you're talking about. They're going to be like, like, girl, what, what, what day is that? That must be one of them new days. We don't know nothing about that. Okay? Girl. Okay, now we have never capitalized los días. You see that all of these are lowercase. That's, that's what they're supposed to be. Duh. So unless the day of the week starts the sentence, you never capitalize. No matter where it's placed within the sentence, we don't do that in Espanol. We don't do that over here. That's that shit y'all do over there in English. We don't do that over here in Spanish, boo. Always keep it lowercase, okay? We don't care. Okay, we don't care. Okay. And lastly, all the days are masculine. So in front of these days, you would only have El 
un or uno. Okay, you would never use la, 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 none of that, none of that. They're always going to be masculine, okay? Now you a damn expert of the days of the week. Look at you. I mean, lo siento. Los días de la semana en español. Okay, lo siento. So you an expert of the days of the week, boo. I told you, this was going to be super easy. So now you know the days of the week. You know two ways to memorize them. You know all the rules. You know not to pluralize them, never to capitalize them. And you know that all of them is going to be masculine, boo. If you want more ways to practice Spanish, boo, guess what? Guess what? I got a whole video on using the verb set and a star. Go ahead and click that video, boo, so you can be learning your little Spanish. Yes, get to it.